Once again, season one has been teased by Hi-Rez in a Q&A between Dry Bear and Pretty Hair. I just want to quickly apologize to everybody. I've been ill for the past few days and I haven't been this ill for years. Uh, so it's completely wiped me out. That's why I haven't had so much videos. And also my voice is probably not its wholesome normalness. So you have to put up with the Lino. You know. So there's some quite big things that they're putting out. First of all, OB44 is likely when Season 1 will actually come. And if we go by the patch times, that's probably about four weeks away as the, the Mave patch is going to come next week, so in about a week and a half. And after that, it's probably two weeks until the next patch, so if they do keep on target, we'll probably see it in the next four or so weeks. There's actually a lot of outrage about something called the Legendary Cards and how they were going to be only RNG in the chess. And also, I talked about earlier, if you haven't seen any of the other stuff that they've put out recently, and that they were wanting to put point boosts onto cards that you could buy with in-game gold. Basically, they were trying to make a new gold sink, but I said it was one step too far in making the new player experience bad. And thankfully, we've heard some good news in that the way to get these legendary cards won't just be in these Radiance chests. And if you know what the legendary cards are, they are basically what the talent cards were before, but they are basically cards that change the character and the way you play him in a way that, that completely mixes up the way you approach playing that character. For example, Cassie's incitement is likely to be moved over as it is such a big deal. Other cards of a similar magnitude are going to be added to Cassie. Basically, they don't want any card in a build to be compulsory and to be fair that's fair enough because at the moment Eevee's Wormhole, which basically gives you two blinks, and Cassie's incitement for example, are two cards that are pretty much compulsory for those two champions, if not the best cards that you can get. And you can only have one of these cards per loadout. So moving these cards into these legendary categories doesn't nerf the characters, so it is kind of bringing all the other champions up to the level of Eevee and Cassie, where they've sort of had the top spots on the meta tier list for a very long time, as they've been some of the best champions, and partly, the Wormhole card and the Incitement card for Cassie were what did it on Eevee and Cassie. So like I said, these cards are just going to be as normal and you can either buy them directly off of the card lists on the champion's screens or you can get them in Radiance Chess as random drops. How much they'll actually be, who knows, but they're changing up how the, the basically the chess work. So they no longer give you gold, they give you essence which is another currency that you use to craft things with. And especially these cards are what you'll be crafting, or at least that's what they've let on at the moment. My only confusion with this system is that they're moving the essence to be where gold was before. Essence is going to be useful until you get all the cards, and then afterwards, you're just going to neglect it, and you're going to have these stockpiles of essence that you're never going to use. So, I don't completely get why they need these two currencies, but hey. However, there are actual gold sinks now. For example, mastery skins, they want something from 1 to 25, so basically an item at every level that you can purchase with gold if you achieve that level with the champion. And they gave example of title unlocks and skins, and that there would be a tier 1 of skins if you get so far, so maybe champ champion mastery 10, and then a tier 2 when you got to the highest point in that champion, and those two skins would basically signify how much you've played that champion, and generally that you are pretty serious about playing that champion. Another thing that they teased was divisions in ranking, and a an account-wide ranking, I mean, like Mastery Diamond, Grandmaster, etc. And having that on your account as well. Hopefully, they didn't actually say this explicitly, but in my opinion, the champion ratings need to go. A, it puts people off from paying the ranking because the uh, ranking system is so wild to begin with. Basically, the, the way that the MMR system works out is you start off with 3,500 and the gains are pretty high, the losses are pretty high, and then you sort of get to a balance point of these wins and losses. And the more you play, the more your rank normalizes and then you'll get smaller chunks of ranks or rating every time or lose smaller chunks of rank and rating. To be honest, I still think it's a bit wild even on the account setting, but it works a lot better on your main account rather than the champions as you play all your champions more than you play single champions, unless you're one of those people that only plays, say, an Eevee. But if they remove the champion borders at the moment and the rankings, I think that this mastery system that they're putting in could replace that sort of achievement of how good you are with a champion 
and having it on your account instead would mean that people wouldn't play, for example, one champion, even if it didn't fit in with the lineup that your team had already picked in ranked mode, and would probably make it less frustrating for anyone getting into it, or anyone trying to play it and getting some really random pickups. They've also said that they want to add champion banning in competitive, but they'll only do this once they get s but they'll only do this once they get 23 or 24. So in fact, that's only two patches away if we go by the lowest figure. Something else they tease that's coming soon is survival mode, a basically permadeath 5v5 mode, which I'm guessing is going to be a bit like CS:GO or any sort of um, round-based shooter game that we're all used to. Another big thing that they mentioned is that announcer packs are coming soon, so one of them that they teased is a Bomb King announcer, and if you know what the announcer is, the announcer is the person that announces everything that goes on in the game, like the, the victory and the captures and things like that, the voice that is sort of announcing over the game. They have said that they're working on lore and want to get something out sometime this year, but they weren't too clear on that one. They've actually just updated the PvE mode, now it's the Tordos power, uh, with basically former Makoas and the Pip, and you can go check that out now, that's just gone up now, and they will basically say they want to expand that as much as possible. Another thing that they're wanting to sort of roll back is the Colossal Chest and having the emotes and poses in those. Uh, they said that they listened to the public feedback and that they realised that they made a mistake, but they still wanted some way of being able to buy them basically straight up, so then we might see it in a different chest or some other sort of chest or that sort of a mix of different items. There are five more test maps coming out next patch and that should be very fun to play and basically they're going to take all of the feedback and consider everything that they've had on the maps that we currently have and what they've said is one of the maps that are coming as the test map is a payload map which a lot of people have been asking for uh, although it isn't the most popular mode. Finally Maeve the feline character that's coming soon, the feline sort of assassin character, the high mobility champion that I talked about with the leaks and sort of their abilities that were in the data mining before, is now officially going to be female as Drybest said she will be coming in OB43 which is next patch. So we definitely know that Maeve will be coming in OB43 which will be in like a week or so and that she will be a she. So Pip may have a furry friend to uh, acquaint. Anyway, again, I'm sorry that I've been ill and I just wanted to get something out and it seemed like a good time to do that when they'd done this Q&A and because they'd done it for like 50 minutes, I thought, well, actually, it's probably going to be a need for making a shorter version. So I hope that this has been quite informative and honestly, I think that they've gone back on a lot of the things that they suggested that were leaning on pay to win or weren't new player friendly and thankfully they've changed those so I think we're headed in a good direction and, and to be honest most things sound good going forward. But be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe for more of my content and I'll see you all next time. Joshino.